Today we're doing section 5.5, the trapezoidal rule. So we're going to use trapezoidal approximations to approximate the area between the curve and the x-axis. So we're going to use individual trapezoids. Now, remember the area of a trapezoid is 1 half times the height times the base 1 plus base 2. Now, when using approximations, um, either rectangles or trapezoids, please remember that the left rectangular approximation method and the right rectangular approximation methods are too big or too small based on the first derivative, whether or not the function is increasing or decreasing. Trapezoidal sums are too big or too small based on the second derivative, whether or not the function is concave up or concave down. So the trapezoidal approximation to approximate the area of a definite integral from A to B, we would take each individual trapezoid and add them all together. Now, each one of these are multiplied by H, the height the, of the trapezoids. And I could factor out that height and then have y0 divided by 2 plus y1 plus y2. And then even further, I could factor out that 2, and I'd have y0 plus 2y1 plus 2y2, so on and so forth. Where y0 is f of a, y1 is f of x1, so on and so forth, all the way to yn is f of b. Now you need to remember, this only works with evenly spread subintervals. Without equal subinterval lengths, you must use individual trapezoids. So this formula here only works for evenly spread out subintervals. So to approximate f of x equals the definite integral from a to b of f of x dx, use t equals h divided by 2 times y0 plus 2y1 plus 2y2 all the way to yn only works, remember, when you have equal length subintervals. If they are not of equal length, you need to make sure that you use individual trapezoids. Where AB is partitioned into N subintervals sub of equal length, and H is B minus A over N. Equivalently, T is the left rectangular approximation plus the right rectangular approximation divided by two, where um, the left rectangular approximation and right rectangular approximation are Riemann sums using the left and right endpoints, respectively, for F for the partition. Okay, let's look at example one. Use the trapezoidal rule with n equals 6 to approximate x squared from 0 to 3. So with this one, first we need to find our h so that we can have equal length h um, using our six subintervals. So h would be 3 minus 0 all over 6, which equals 1 half. So then I would have all my different subintervals. So my first interval would go from 0 to 1 half. My next one would be 1 half to 1, and then 1 to 3 halves, 3 halves to 2, 2 to 5 halves, and 5 halves to 3. So to find my area, it's going to be 1 half times h, which is 1 half. And then I will put my left endpoint into x squared. So I'd have 0 squared plus 2 times my next left endpoint, 1 half squared plus 1 or 2 times 1 squared plus 2 times 3 halves squared plus 2 times 2 squared plus 2 times 5 halves squared plus 2 times 3 squared. This would then give you an area of 9.125.
Now, a couple of questions. Is your approximation too big or too small and why? So this approximation here is too big because the function is concave up. If we had found the left Riemann sum, would our approximation have been too big or too small? And why is that? And it would have been too small because this is an increase in function. And if we were to compute the midpoint Riemann sum, would our answer be too big or too small? And that would also be too small. Let's look at example two. An observer measures the outside temperature every hour from noon until midnight, recording the temperatures in the following table. What is the average temperature for the 12 hour period? So these have equal sub intervals as well. So if it's the average temperature over a 12 hour, hour period, it would be 1 12th because it's average. So we'd have to divide the whole thing by 12 from 0 to 12 because a 12 hour period of the temperature times dt. And how we would find that is we have our 1 12th here. And then we have to do b minus a over n. So it would be 12 minus 0 all over 12, which would be 12 over 12 times 1 half from our formula. And we can only use the formula because it is of equal sub intervals. And then it would be our y values are our temperature, so it would be 63 plus 2 times 65 plus 2 times 66 plus 2 times 68 plus 2 times 70 plus 2 times 69 plus 2 times 68 plus 2 times 68 plus 2 times 65 plus two times 64, plus two times 62, plus two times 58, plus 55. And that would be about 65.166 repeated. Question, is the trapezoidal approximation the same as the midpoint Riemann sum approximation? And no, because the midpoint is still using um, rectangles. It could be close, but the answer would be no. It is not the same. So let's look at our quick quiz. Question, the function f is continuous on the closed interval 1 to 7 and has values that are given below. Using subintervals, 1 to 4, 4 to 6, and 6 to 7, what is the trapezoidal approximation of this function? So go ahead, pause the video, and try to do this on your own. Okay, so for this one, you need to note that these interval lengths are not the same. This one is 3, this is 2, and this is 1. So since these interval lengths are not the same, we need to use individual trapezoids. We cannot use the formula. So the area for this one would be 3, because that's how long my interval is, times 30 plus 10 all over 2, plus 2, because my next interval has length 2, times 40 plus 30 all over 2 plus 1, because that's the length of my last interval, times 20 plus 40, all over 2. And I would get 160. So the correct answer was C.